hold on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Some of that royalty. Yeah, Before we get into this video, this is what I need y'all to do. To all the people that saying Nick go live, Nick go live, Nick go live. I'm always live. If y'all can see the what the goddamn hair, yeah, the sub the goddamn hair, yeah, that's what you do. Go to twitch.tv.com, go to my channel, uh, which is Royalties World CEO. Hit my profile and simply follow me. You will see when I'm live. Yeah, dig. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. <coughs> My bad. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you leave. So for one, I just want to say I appreciate y'all, man, for always tuning in. How you tune in? You dig what I'm saying? Let me put this uh, volume on where it need to be. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get y'all another round of a please. You're feasy. I appreciate y'all, man. I don't ever want y'all to think that I don't. If I'm the type of person that, if I know the progression that you give could be more progressed than I'm going to ask for. Now, it's this simple. All I need y'all to do is help me. For some reason, 70% of y'all is subscribed. But 30% of y'all not. <laughs> and the thing is, y'all over here watching these videos without subscribing. I don't understand what the problem is. So if you're over here to watch it and you actually watch it because my time, uh, watch time ratio has been pretty good. So that means you're watching a video. So I'm going to need you, as you're watching a video, to just slide your little finger right over. Hit that subscribe button. She in all red. Start with an S. You dig what I'm saying? It's simple. You know, that's what I need y'all to do. And I would appreciate that a lot. Because if you don't, I mean, come on. Your mom ain't going to give you Thanksgiving dinner next year. And who wants that? <laughs> I know you don't because I love my mama Thanksgiving dinner. Don't do it to yourself. Okay. Now, <sighs> we about to get into this video. So switching up a couple things because for some reason when i do these instagram type videos youtube be hating so we'll, this week we, we're gonna do it like this all right now sis says she got five ways of um thing five things men need to do for women or something because apparently a, a man did a video like this of what five things women need to do either way let's get to it so a creator by the name of Mr. Daddy 63 made a video that went viral where he listed five things that he believes a woman should never have to do when she has a man in her life. All right. Now, I would like to do my version of five things a man should never have to do when he has a woman in his life. Okay. And this is a man who is taking care of business. We're not talking about you bums out there. Ooh. Okay, here goes. Number <laughs> one, a man. <laughs> this is a man that is taking care of business. Not a bum. Come on, Jesus. She just pointed your ass out. You mad to look at you over there mad as hell. <laughs> what you mad for? Don't be mad, little nigga. Man should never have to pack his own lunch. You're already cooking dinner. Why not set an extra chicken leg, an extra potato, and an extra serving of broccoli to the side when you cook so he can have a lunch ready to go in the morning? Now, some of y'all might have a little smart remark about, you know, because I'm not with a man, you know what I'm saying? I'm with a woman, and, you know, we live our life the way we live our life. Um, and that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, I will say, you know, I'm the one who make the lunch around this motherfucker because I just feel like if he cooking, he can make the lunch for her too. You know what I'm saying? But, I, you know, who am I? I'm telling you, it's a big flex for him to be sitting in that break room with co-workers and he's got a nice lunch pack and it's though. smelling good and throw a little note in there and telling him what you're going to do later on that night. And he blush, big flex. Number two, Come on, flex. a man should never have to ask for encouragement. The world beats our men up enough. Why is he being beat up at home? 
If this man is handling all of his business and he has a day where he's feeling down and he's feeling like he can't do it, encourage that man. Speak life into that man because the better he feels, the better he can make you feel. Teamwork. You know, a lot of women uh, argue this because they'll say, like, I don't know what he's feeling. And um, I had a conversation with my cousin, and, you know, he's a guy, and he was like, you know, he'd rather just hold it in because, you know, he don't want a woman to bring it up later or try and criticize him for him being vulnerable, you know. And it's sad. It really is, and especially in the black community. You know, I can't speak for no other one. The black community that, you know, men feel that way that sucks and then again i don't feel like men make it so easy to to speak to them because a lot of times they just want to handle it and don't don't want to be questioned about it you know what i'm saying uh but i feel what she's saying number three uh, a man should never have to ask to be celebrated we expect him to do all of these things for us and you can't say thank you yeah. you can't say i appreciate you Right. You can't make a big deal when he walks into the house with something new for you. I hate an entitled woman. And a lot of women feel like they deserve more than what they get, but ain't out here putting in no work. And I, quite frankly, that's just ugly, friend. That's an ugly, ugly trait that women have. It's almost like he was supposed to do that for me anyway. No, the hell he wasn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nobody has to do anything for you. You know, and I don't think... Um, anybody realizes that you know but i think with a with a love language of appreciation you know i have a love language of appreciation and when i feel appreciated i do more for you you know what i'm saying so you know i, I think everyone should be celebrated for sure you can't make a big deal when he cuts the grass and he got them lines perfectly you can't celebrate that man for handling business celebrate that man and sometimes you need to make a big deal out of it so he feels the desire to keep doing it Hmm. Damn, baby, you cut the shit out that motherfucking grass. <laughs> That's the first thing that came to my mind. You cut the shit out that motherfucking grass. Okay? Period. Number three. That's this man point. should never have to ask for intimacy. Why are we using it as a weapon? You want him to get up and handle business without being asked. Why you can't handle business without being asked? Why does he have to beg and plead and bribe you to handle his physical needs? And I I ain't arguing with that at all. Um, especially if the nigga just, hey, can I get some ass? Now, I'm not going to lie. Some of y'all men need to be making these women come. Because I don't give a damn how much grass you cut, uh, how many dishes you wash, or, or how many bills you pay. If you're not making me come. I don't know how much I could do for you. <laughs> like, I need to come. You know what I'm saying? And and I feel like that is a a big part of life. <laughs> when it not, not life, but, you know, when it comes to sex. You need to be making me come. I just wanted to put that out there. So, men, if she ain't doing it to you, it probably because you're doing it for no reason. I mean, can you imagine all that friction? And all that, you know, hopefully if you're blessed, you know, all that friction and that manhood just beating the brains out of a woman. After that, you come and then you just like, like, what? No, no, no. I didn't, I didn't fucking do all this for you to come, sir. Just you. So work on that too, I just feel like. What did your grandmama teach you? You never let a man leave out of the house angry, hungry, or horny. Keep playing. She right. And last but not least, a man should never have to ask for support. If this man is a visionary, if he's leading his house, if he is operating in the capacity that benefits everybody in his family, when he comes to you with a plan and he tells you, baby, what do you think? You need to be saying, I'm on board. And what can I do? Period. Because the better your family operates, the better everybody is in whole, the easier your job is ultimately. Support that man when he's doing positive things and put in effort to help him so y'all can build together and be a dream team. Child, she know what she talking about. I ain't gonna lie. 
that woman know what she's talking about <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below man obviously i don't date men you know what i'm saying um i have a different role in my household I, I really don't even believe in roles anymore because you know everybody just need to play their part you know what i'm saying that's what it's about just play your part that's all you know so y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below and shout it right you know about the uh, uh how you should treat a man you know in your relationship you know and let me know what you think all right love y'all appreciate y'all hey yeah